Hi, so this is getting complicated <coughs> as I watched the other videos. I hope you can still follow. Okay, so now what else do we need to exclude? I've just written it already here. Okay, let's just copy this. And why? Why these folders? Because I heard from Ubuntu forums, I read that you need really need to exclude this because these are systems system particular to your computer that um, not necessarily needed to be backed up okay so if we have these things here again root exclude again we're done backing up the boot we're now back back upping the root right if we back up the root now but root has an exclude folder alt file so whatever is again the root is the slash which is the file system and under this file system exclude these folders okay so backups this is this is that line boot this is that one home this is that one lost and found this is that one media system okay and a lot of s other things also you can i think you can also exclude cd-rom um, but I have haven't researched that yet. But this will do already. Just make sure that you don't you don't have CD-ROM in your in your uh, recall in your computer when you're when it's already 5 p.m. Okay. So now that our file system will get back up under backups, day of the week, and the root. This is simply found in file system backups. Um, what's that? Friday and root okay so that's gonna be where it's found what else what else this one I don't think you need but I'm gonna s make a separate tutorial on this one this is for just my email okay the office is very important the email so I made uh, I read a script online and there this is a script that says that you can back up your evolution email finally we have the home okay we put here the home it's just um, uh, identical to the root because there's also an exclude home. Okay, now what's exclude home? We go to backups again, others. And I'm just gonna be very fast because this is um, getting a lot of uh, 10 minutes long, longer and longer. I really put here virtual box because I'm using a virtual box. And sometimes virtual machines can be very huge, so I exclude them. And also GVFS. I don't know what the hell this file is, but uh, RSync produces error about this file. So again, I'll just uh, exclude that. Okay. So now that you have home exclude, you have root exclude. When these three are backed up, you have a f you're you're gonna be uh, betting that your s system has been backed up, and you it can die. It can be stolen. I know. I mean, can crash. You know, whatever can get flooded, and you will have. As long as you have the backup, you can restore your system. Okay, this three, just this three. Sometimes you don't even have to back up the boot because I just make it a separate partition. So now this three, just back them up, and then you're good to go. So now you have a fully backed up system. Okay, so the others here, we will just will just uh, create another tutorial okay also I just want to empty my trash right I want to empty my trash before I back up the root okay that's why I put it here empty the trash okay just for say something so now let's back it up and see what will happen okay so let's go back to our cron tab let's just review what we've been doing already and while it's backing up I'm gonna pause the video so that you won't have to listen or wait for that again on 5 p.m. the user root why do you need the user root because um, we're backing up the boot the root so it has root own files run the script backup backup sh because that's what we uh, that's where our our sync commands are located okay that's what we made here okay now this is optional we go now to that folder okay 
and as you can see I am the owner of this backup script you can also make this the root owner okay this is just optional I just want I just want it to be the root owner just in case I might delete or might somebody might uh, I don't know just I want it to be root so that it can run root but that's not necessary you can really put here your username okay so cron tab let's go now to the cron tab and let's see if it's gonna work so what time is it now 958 so let's put here uh, what is 21 right 59 let's put 59 okay if, if you um, you can see later that it's going to when it turns to 59 okay this will be populated Friday boot first of all and then the root and then others this home okay let's see Friday so there you go already it's populated the boot because it's already run and now the root is running okay how do you know it's finished um, you just go here rsync log okay when the rsync log is uh, we, you can see here something a file like files total number of files transferred and the speed is this 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 so that's uh, I'm gonna pause the video so we don't have to uh, wait for this I'm gonna be back